Good morning, Utah 7-Eleven here on this Wednesday morning. We continue to stack up the snow across the Beehive State. Look at some of these new season totals that we have seen so far. How about 718 at Brighton? But a couple of resorts I want to make mention of. Alta now has crossed the 700 inch mark now at 703. Deer Valley and Park City have both joined the 500 inch club. Deer Valley at 503 while Park City has hit 500 inches and both Deer Valley and Park City have almost doubled their average snowfall for the season. And it's only March 22nd and we're seeing more snow at Deer Valley and Park City Mountain because it's snowing sideways in Park City. Those roadways do not look very fun. Build in plenty of time if you're traveling in the high country. Meanwhile, Bryce Canyon, the snow is falling here and with our strong winds, we're seeing times of blowing snow and we also have rain down some of our valleys, including the northern portion of Utah County, the southern portion of Salt Lake Valley of the Salt Lake Valley and Davis and Weber County even seeing some rain, but we're seeing more moisture coming in from the southwest. The upper level low pressure driving all of this will be moving in as we go through today, so we're not done with the wet weather potential just yet and for today. Not only will there be the chance for scattered showers, but there will also be the potential for thunderstorms across the state once again as well and expecting the healthiest moisture for today to be in the northern portion of the state. So yesterday the healthiest moisture was down south today. That's going to be migrating north, but still could see some healthy moisture, especially in southwestern Utah, southeastern Utah. But you notice up in northern Utah, especially up in the mountains, we could definitely be talking about more healthy moisture. The winter storm warnings, the winter weather advisories, these remain in effect as we continue you through today. Most of these won't go away until six o'clock tomorrow morning. And by the time all is said and done, given the snow that we saw yesterday and that we're going to continue through today, generally most mountains in the warnings will pick up between one to two feet of snow, six to 16 for rest of the warning areas. And I do want to make mention that most of our mountains have picked up at least a foot of snow in the last 48 hours, four to 14 for most advisories, but in the western Uinta Basin, more so on the magnitude of two to six inches, strong winds expected and also expecting those winter driving conditions and the snow potential through through tonight showing that best chance in northern Utah, and there is at least a chance that in some of our northern Utah valleys, we could see times of a wintry mix or even times of straight snow, especially in our typically colder valleys like Cache Valley, but won't completely eliminate that chance even along portions along the Wasatch Front, even towards Nephi as well. But then our mountains again expecting those healthy snow totals to continue as we go through today. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast. Eight o'clock this morning. Scattered showers expected to continue from this morning into the afternoon. This is midday today, with that best chance being in the northern portion of the state. Isolated activity down south, but that activity will continue from this morning through the afternoon. And then by this evening, maybe a little bit less coverage overall, but that chance for wet weather won't go away completely. Even tomorrow morning, have a chance for some rain and snow in northern Utah, a chance for rain and snow down in the southwestern portion of the state. Maybe some calmer conditions out in the eastern portion of the state, but then from the second half of Thursday into our Friday, our next system will start to approach from the northwest. Scattered shower activity expected throughout the day on Thursday into our Thursday night as a cold front begins to work its way in and with even colder air that's set to move in. There's going to be a better chance that we could see straight snow in our northern Utah valleys and snow expected to continue throughout Friday with a northwesterly flow with that best chance in the northern two thirds of the state. But for today, you're out the door forecast along the Wasatch Front. We get that shower restart, then scattered showers expected to continue. Temperatures climbing into the middle 40s, so temperatures going to be more than 10 degrees below our seasonal averages. Once again, with low to mid 40s, the Wasatch Front will see daytime highs in the mid to upper 30s in Cache Valley, along with the Uinta Basin as well. Temperatures close to freezing around Park City, a daytime high of 38 in Cedar City, 54 in St. George, 49 in Moab, and there's also going to be that thunderstorm potential across the state today as well. In St. George, we're going to hold on to the chance for showers for today, but I think that best chance will actually run this morning. Then isolated chance once we get into this afternoon. More chances for rain for our Thursday than just a slight chance on Friday and Saturday as that cold front works its way through. Temperatures will be chillier over the weekend. Then temperatures might finally moderate by the early and middle portions of next week. By next Tuesday, we could be back to around 60 degrees in St. George. Then along the Wasatch Front, rain and snow showers for today. Scattered showers for our Friday. Temperatures cool down after and behind the cold front. Daytime highs over the weekend, possibly in the middle 30s. I think the better chance for snow will be Friday into Saturday, just a slight chance on Sunday, then mostly dry and then maybe a little bit milder into early next week. But those roads, they're running slippery out there this 